Okay, let's look at some of the chords that uh, Angus Young of ACDC uses in a lot of his songs. We'll just get the, the basics, uh, the basic chords. Uh, we'll start off with the uh, A power chord. Then we'll do the, uh, the B power chord, B5 power chord. And then a chord that he likes using a lot is the B power chord, but instead of the using the B root note, he'll use the A as the uh, bass note. And which turns this chord into uh, B slash A, mm -hmm. A denoting that the bass, bass note is now an A instead of the usual B root note. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you listen to that chord B over A, you can hear that if we move it up, it's um, it's a chord that were used in um, Hell's Bells. So he's using the shape of the power chord based on the fifth root note, but instead of playing the root note, he's playing the fifth string A open. Another chord that he uses quite often in his songs is the D with the F sharp in the bass. And we use we uh, play that note by using our thumb to fret the note. Or if you'd like, you can use your second finger as an alternative to fret the second fret of the sixth string and then play the third string fretted at the second fret. It just gives it a different flavor. That's the D major chord. The F sharp is at the at the bottom. Now we're playing the F sharp as a bass note. It changes the dynamics of the chord. And we also have the G open power chord. The main thing is that we play the G note at the third fret of the sixth string and that we mute out the fifth, the fifth string altogether. And we mute it out by lightly touching it with our fretting finger. Play the full version by playing all the notes till all six, on all six strings. We can play from the sixth string down to the fourth, sorry, down to the third uh, string. That works well too. And then another chord that he uses is the C sus two chord and the G over B chord. Let's add a little bit of uh, distortion just to hear what because uh, those power chords that he uses the open power chords they ring out a lot so that's uh, um, the distortion adds a lot a lot of power to that.
chords, and I'm sure as you play them, you'll hear uh, songs that you uh, heard in ACDC's uh, catalog. TNT and you play the A power chord and then you play the G G power chord but you don't play the full version just play the G note at the sixth string at the third fret and then play the top uh, four strings let's say or if you like you can just play the note itself and give it a bend a quarter step bend string in the song uh, you shook me all night long in the chorus he does a little uh, chord passage using the uh, the C sus chord and the G over B chord and he has a little run up to it on the fifth string playing the fifth string open fretting the uh, second fret and then the third fret use the fingers that you prefer that will help you get to the next chord which is the C sus and then uh, you can strum the chords if you like. Go to the D major chord. Or you can arpeggiate the notes by doing the run up and playing the uh, third string open, the second string at, fretted at the uh, third fret. And then back to the G open. And we do the same uh, picking pattern, but this time we start at the G over B chord. And then we'll play the D major. And then we'll do the G major chord and alternate between the two. chords that we're learning is uh, let's say the song Thunderstruck which uses the uh, B5 power chord and then we lift the uh, first finger off and we get the A over B chord and then we'll play the uh, G partial G power chord and then we'll go to that D over F sharp note very important that you hit the sixth string clear, clearly. And then we'll end on the E power chord. G chord then to the D F sharp chord you can arpeggiate the notes so you get something like this so the arpeggiation is the partial G power chord play the th uh, third fret at the sixth string and then play the uh, fourth string open and the third string open and then when you fret the D over F sharp, you
you want to play the sixth string at the second fret, the fourth string open, and then the third string fretted at the uh, second fret. And then we end again on the E5 power chord. Another sequence that he uses in uh, Back in Black, you have the main opening uh, chords, which are E power chord, the D power chord, and the A power chord. And uh, the technique that Angus uses quite a bit because he's using open chords to mute the strings, he once he strums the chord, he'll place his the edge of his palm on the bridge of the guitar and it stops the, the notes from ringing. So that's something good to practice. Just play the chord and then Put your palm, the side of your palm on the, on the strings and stop them from ringing. If you want to ring out, you just let it, let it go. If you want it to stop ringing, you put the palm on the bridge of the guitar. Uh, the chord sequence also in Back in Black that he uh, uses in the chorus uses the B5 power chord and that A over 5, A over B power chord. So we start at the A power chord. So it's A power chord, E power chord, the B5 power chord. Lift the first finger off and then put it back down. between that and the G power chord. And it's very important that you hit the top string at the F sharp that gives it gives it its uh, character. <laughs> 